charitably and might have called it even, but I'll go with you. Two-point lead for Sammy Fuente starting out this fight. Martin started to do a little more of what he needs to, get close, start firing the uppercuts. He has got to take away the movement of Fuente. He adapts very well. He's a very versatile boxer, and he will learn, and he'll listen to his corner round to round and prove as he goes along. Fuente decides to try a little southpaw action. right scored by Sammy Fuente. When they fight in close here for Martin it is critical to win that exchange because it's kind of considered his domain. If Fuente takes that away right now it has to weigh on him psychologically the rest of the way. trying to force Fuentes to go back to his right so that Martin can fire the right hand power coming across. He's cutting off the ring a little better when Fuentes wants to move to his left. And generally he's having a better round. With that little adjustment he's getting the fight a little closer to where he wants to wage it. He cannot afford to chase Fuentes around the ring. Fuentes is a good condition fighter, as is Mark. A few seconds to go in the third round. These two look well matched and appear to be headed for the distance. Stay with us. Showtime has exclusive movies you won't see on HBO. Not this month, not next month, not next year. Showtime has the hits HBO misses. December is packed with live sports surprises on ESPN. NFL showdowns every Sunday night. The world's finest tennis players at the Nabisco Masters. Sensational college basketball shootouts. ESPN's December delivers the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. Two special events featuring the world's greatest golfers. Plus, World Cup skiing, NHL excitement, and a special look back at this year in sports. All in December on ESPN. You may measure the frame of mind more than the punch. Toward the end, Fuentes comes up with a left hook, kind of a grazing blow, and Martin has a look of anger. It was right at the bell to end round three. Here is the fourth. Well, not find Tony Martin wanting for intensity. He's put together a string of victories here that can propel him to some pretty good days ahead for his 10th in a row. This looks, Don, like it's been a bit of a taxing pace on Martin so far. He's been moving in pursuit more than he wanted to be. One it seems to like this. Good scoring blows by Fuentes with both hands. How does that scorecard look now? Tony Martin, with the good adjustment last round, has come back to make it a close fight. Actually, a one-point deficit for him after the three. One is still leading by a point. He was ahead by two, so he gave that round to Tony Martin, brought him closer. Now, the past record indicates that Tony Martin isn't going to fold. He just isn't going to go away to be in the face of Sammy Fuentes all night long. And it'll be up to Fuentes to build a sizable enough lead because you know in the late rounds that Tony's going to be there. Unless Fuentes can get Martin to exhaust his stamina supply chasing him. 
Martin has moved a lot more than in recent fights, been forced to by Fuentes. Mm -hmm. Fuentes has at times been a phantom target. It is not possible to follow what is said in the corner of Fuentes because he speaks only Spanish. what uh, Tony Martin's people are telling him in terms of strategy and do's and don'ts in his battle to defeat Sammy Fuentes here would it be certainly the biggest win of his career. Martin is best when he's countering inside but because of the way Fuentes has been giving him the subtle movements Martin can't set for the counter the target is not there where it was a split second before. And he said he wanted to go to the body but he has been preoccupied with uh, getting those shots to the head of Sammy Fuentes instead. Well, the body's right in front of him, then it's a little bit to the right, then it's a little bit to the left. He doesn't stand still. They open it up here in the closing seconds of this fourth round. Fox by both